You know, really not a lot of people had heard the name Rachel Notley until two and a half weeks ago when she and her Alberta New Democrats shocked the country by winning a majority government in Alberta. First time that ever happened. I don't think anyone was more shocked than her herself. But because no one had really heard of her and because she was in the low teens in the opinion polls as recently as December, people think that perhaps she's just a, a regular folk, sort of uh, an accidental politician, when in fact she has been a career politician her whole life. She's been a political activist, not just in Alberta, but working in NDP governments in other provinces. And her father was a career politician too. He actually used to be the leader of the Alberta NDP in his day. So I think the perception that she's new and newfangled is more a reflection of observers who didn't know her than what she's like herself. Uh, the same goes for her top staff. She chose Brian Top as her chief of staff. He's no country bumpkin. He's no just folks. He's probably the most uh, sophisticated, experienced NDP activist in Canada from the east, Ottawa, Montreal, Toronto. He's done work in other provinces. He's basically an NDP political mercenary for hire. These are not naive people. And I think the province was therefore wrongly surprised when Rachel Notley showed she can be just as cronyist, just as fundraising, money grubbing as the worst of the Jim Prentice PCs. Here's what I'm talking about. As you know, Rachel Notley has yet to be officially sworn in as Alberta's premier. Now that is not a partisan moment. It is a civic moment, a public moment, a government moment, a constitutional moment actually, where she will be put in charge of the government. And it's a solemn moment, but Rachel Notley and her Alberta NDP turned it into, get this, into a partisan fundraising opportunity. She tweeted to tens of thousands of people, hey, come to my swearing in. And if you click the button, boom, up would pop, uh, how much do you want to donate to the Alberta NDP? And the fields that were available to you to click on, one of them was actually as high as $2,500 or more. Hang on a second. It, it, it's a public event. You're selling access. I mean, you didn't have to donate to come, but when the premier of the province says, "Hey, come to my swearing-in event," and uh, yeah, just leave a little something in the tip jar, well, you don't think that every crony, would-be crony lobbyist or another person trying to get it in with the government is going to take the hint? Oh, geez, the premier just asked me to give twenty-five hundred bucks to come to her swearing-in. I guess I'd better do that. Now, when journalists ask how gross it was to sell tickets effectively to a public event, the NDP dug in their heels. They actually said, oh, no, 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 no. There's nothing wrong with it. You see the Twitter account and the email account, they were from party sources. They weren't government Twitter accounts. Yeah, but she was raising money off a public event. That would be like selling fundraising tickets to go sit in for the throne speech. Yikes, I shouldn't give the NDP any ideas. Well, after a day of getting a bruising in the papers, the NDP finally collapsed, caved in and said, yeah, I guess we'll do without that $100,000. Look, the Alberta NDP is not morally superior to any other kind of party. They're just flesh and bone and as corruptible as any other politician. And Rachel Notley, yeah, she's just as much a political hack as Jim Prentice. It's only now that we're paying attention. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.